video, I will show you how to access the ECA Cloud Services and how to subscribe to the Euclid Cloud Services, whether you already have an ECA account or not. ECA Cloud Services are available directly from the main page of the ECA website. To access it, simply click this link. The main page of the ECA Cloud Services contains a brief description of the available services and set of other useful resources. To access the cloud services, click on the link ECA Cloud Services. If you do not have an ECA account yet, then you need to register and create it first. You will need to create a user and provide information about your company. If you already have an ECA account to access one of the ECA IT tools, such as Rich IT, EPIC, or R4BP, you can directly log in. Log in by entering your username and password. If you have problems logging in, you can verify your username and change your password from the support links below. When you're done, click Login. You have now accessed the ECA Cloud Platform, and from here you can subscribe to the cloud services made available by ECA. The ECA Cloud Platform currently has two services, the Euclid Cloud for SMEs and the Euclid Cloud Trial Service. Both can be used anywhere, anytime, and they run always the latest version of Euclid. Users do not need to worry about updating the software. ECA does it for you. The Euclid Cloud for SMEs is intended for SMEs who are not frequent Euclid users and want to create a Euclid dossier for the rich 2018 deadline in a simple way. This service includes backup, dedicated help desk support, and it comes with higher storage. The Euclid Cloud Trial aims at giving users the possibility to test, do training, and get familiar with Euclid in the cloud. It has limited storage and no backup capabilities, but it has the same functionalities as the Euclid Cloud for SMEs. In order to access a service, you need to subscribe to it first. So click on the subscribe button, then read the terms and conditions, and once you accept it, then you will be able to subscribe. The process of creating the database takes a few minutes. After that, the service is ready to be accessed and used. 